Well, hello, and welcome back to the almost conclusion, or at least uh, the usable conclusion, of the pallet chicken coop carport run. It is 90 degrees out here right now, and I'll show you what we've done to help abate the heat. That helps not only the piggies, lots of chickens. I'm going to set on a timer right here. That will turn on for two hours. And I'm going to turn this fan up. So, timer on a hose up to a misting, misting pipes, misting station. Oh, look at the pretty butterfly. Hi. Inside the coop, we'll go in so you don't get covered in water. So we'll let that to start cooling down. It's 95 degrees out here. So what we've done. So this is some old paint that we mixed together. Scrap wood. These were out of an old curtain rods. Put together to hold this together. Let's see who's in here. Um, what is, so what did we do in here that that's different? Uh, I'm not sure. Things being used. So five boxes, four perches. Um, I cut this ventilation in here because I didn't. Uh, I need to secure this roof down. So I'm going to be screwing this roof down. Some of the things I have yet to do. Secure. Finish securing the roof, and then fill the holes in the roof that were from. Because this is being reused, so you can see the little white holes. I'm going to put some caulk in there. Um, the white stuff you see, everything is covered with uh, diatomaceous earth. And then down below we have chips, and then down below the chips are pine pellets. So there's three bags of pine pellets, one, two, three, and then one bag of wood chips over top. Hi, beautiful. Uh, this is the last little bit of paint we have left. Um, one of the things we need to work on is probably ventilation back there. Um, so we'll look at drilling some more holes, possibly, in the back part. So let me show you the back part. Okay. So back here, we still have uh, handles to put on the door. They're actually in the truck. But uh, I put this lock right here, opens up, we got our hay in there, uh, and this is completely enclosed. And then you can just pick it up and pull it out because it's just in the grooves. And then of course the, when we go to harvest eggs, we just open this up, and that carries an egg right there. Hooray! I'll get that later. Just the extra big box the cat likes to sleep in. Okay, let's see what's over here. No, no, no. All right, let's go inside, shall we? To go inside, got this hasp up here, which keeps it pretty much straight. Hi, everybody. And then to close it, I just have this hooked like that for a moment, and it seems to work. So what I did in here, put a little hooky up, put this thing up for storage or whatever, for a little snackies. Put some hooks in this 2x4, which I screwed to the end of the rafters. And then uh, brought, the, brought the plastic in and stapled that. This is cut. These are some, again, some scrap boards I had left over. It was a pallet for in the middle. Piece of pallet to cover this gap here. Two screws in there. And I wasn't going to, I didn't have the heart to 
cut this board off, so I left it hang out there. I figured we could hang something out there when they're free range and we might put a waterer to hang from out there because they're going to get to free range. Ah, that stuff back there. Once they call this home, once you guys call this home, yeah, once we're absolutely sure. Look how pretty you are. Who's my pretty big bird? Who's my pretty big bird? One of my favorites. What's up, Crook Shields? Here's my pretty bird bird. Oh, we got kicking in here. Misters are working. Cool it down. The beauty of having a fan here is the pigs get to use it too. Uh, they were all just here for a moment. Now they've kind of moved over there. But they do get to hang out with the chickens. This is the first time they've been this close to the chickens, and the first time the chickens have really been this close to the pigs. My beautiful. Who's my pretty bird bird? Yup, you. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Uh, so to set them up, to make it easier for us, we keep their food out here in this can. Everyone gets their own rake, so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, just put this on a hinge um, with a little hook to close them up at night. Uh, we haven't closed until we get an automatic door. Haven't closed them up yet. Um, it's with the dog, and I feel pretty pretty secure. What's going on down here? Oh, Easter eggers. Everybody's looking for something. They really like it in here. We've got some dividers, things to play on. Helps give everybody their room and a place to hide from the mist if it's too much. But that does feel much cooler already. And then we put one rooster in here. Hi, buddy. Hey, Tipsy. So, 18 hens and one rooster. This is a 10 by 20 carport. So that's uh, 200 square feet. You know, 200 divided by you know, 20 birds is uh, 10 square feet per bird. And of course this is a temporary until they realize this is where their roosting and sleeping arrangements are. Uh, once they're used to that, then we will be letting them out. I'm just going around looking at all the bungee cords, everything that's holding this together. We tied a, roof, a rope across here to, to suspend and hang our food and water from. So it's 10 square feet per bird right now while they're in here and then once they're used to this in a couple weeks we will be uh, just basically opening close this up you can see the stuff that I got put on after we painted basically be opening this up in the morning and then they can free range and we'll put a gate over here probably cut a gate in here not that we'd actually need it because they could fly over but to make it easier for the dog to go out there as well to protect them. Um, and then they can free range this entire area back here. So, uh, there you go. It's in use and operational and it's protected from the heat. Last few things we were going to do, again, handles, put the, uh, finish, finish attaching the roof. And we're going to get a 20 by 20 foot tarp to put over top of this which will come down a little bit more and provide a little bit more protection 
Yeah, I'll show you that in another video. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you're having a great Memorial Day. See you later. I mean, I love you later. Bye.